Hi, my name is Charles Preston. I'm a survey party chief with the Port of Los Angeles, and this is my career report. Question out of the hat. Was this your first career choice? If not, what was it? What changed your mind? Actually, Lancer Vein was not my first career choice. My first career choice was to be a civil engineer. During the course of taking the college classes for the, to become a civil engineer, I, de I came across the class of Lancer Vein. Lancer Vein deals with geometry quite a bit and that is very appealing to me. And given that my experience with the course, I felt that this is something I might want to do later on. So we convinced our college to actually start a second a more advanced course in Lancer Vein. And many of us that were in the first course took that and that's what started me into this career of Lancer Vein. And that's uh, how I got into it. Next question. Is there anything you would have done differently on your career path? Actually, probably yes. Um, I took a long time to get through my college courses and I actually just recently finished getting my bachelor's degree in Lancer Vein and Geomatics. If I had the opportunity, I would have done it more quickly. Um, I didn't come across the Lancer Vein course in the curriculum until later on. And at that point I made a switch to focus in Lancer Vein as opposed to civil engineering. Had I been able to complete my education on a faster basis, I think I would have come across the Lancer Vein class more quickly. And at that point, I would have changed my careers then instead of waiting till later on. So yes, I think I would have changed it a little bit by speeding up my education. And that's what have got me to where I am now. Next question. What are your favorite tools to use on the job? Uh, right now, our favorite tool is the GPS receiver that we just recently got. Uh, the reason is, is that it allows us to set up and complete our work on a much faster level than using what we usually call a total station. So setting this up saves us time, makes our job a whole lot easier, and gets us done a whole lot faster. So right now, that's my favorite tool. Next question. What is your favorite part of the job and why? Uh, my favorite part of the job is when we finish taking our measurements in the field and we bring it upstairs. It's at that point we get to upload it into our surveying software and we get to see actually the map that we are creating out in the field. And there's a nice sense of uh, accomplishment that comes with it when you actually get to see a picture representation of what you're seeing in the field and to know that that map that you just made is something that you did. So for me, that's probably the best part of my job. Next question. How long did you train for your Ironman triathlon? I did my first Ironman triathlon in 2015. Uh, I actually had started doing triathlons, but shorter distances about five years before that. When I decided to take the step into doing an Ironman triathlon, it took me about a year of training, uh, usually five to six days a week. During the week would be shorter distances, shorter trainings. On the weekends would be the super long runs, super long swims, super long bikes. But it did overall take me about a year, but it was a very rewarding experience. And I really did get a good sense of accomplishment from completing that Ironman triathlon. It was one of my bucket list things, and I'm glad to check it off. Next question. If you could do any job anywhere in the world, what would it be? Well, here at the port is already kind of pretty good. We get to work around the water, we get to work around the land. Who, I mean, and who doesn't want to work around the ocean, right? Um, if there was any other jobs that I would want to do, it would still be in Lancer Vein, but rumor has it that there's an actual survey crew for the city that works up in the mountains measuring the snowpack. I wouldn't mind giving that a shot. That sounds like a lot of fun because I like being outdoors, I love the mountains, and living up there sounds like a really cool thing to do. Next question. How do you create maps of the port? Well, at the port, we actually make two different types of maps. 
We make topographic maps is what most people are familiar with. Those are the maps you see to, to locate where you're going and to look at terrain. Uh, but we also create hydrographic maps, which are maps representing the ocean bottom, uh, the channels and the harbors of the port. To create topographic maps, we take measurements in the field by setting up a total station or using our GPS receiver and taking measurements from that surveying instrument to different objects out there. For example, roads, sidewalks, uh, trees, buildings, things like that. And we piece it all together and we bring it upstairs and produce a map out of it. For the hydrographic maps, we actually use a boat. The boat itself has two GPS receivers that allow us to know where the boat is and what direction it's going. There are also additional components on the boat that allow us to measure how the boat moves in the water. This allows us to place the sonar that's in the bottom of the boat and orient it in a way that allows us to precisely measure the bottom of the ocean. And we take all that data upstairs and again, make a map out of it that we provide to engineers for design purposes or to the port pilots for their use in uh, guiding ships safely into the port. I'm Charles Preston, and this has been My Career Report. For more information, visit us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.